Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS CFD course prepared by Ahmad Tiema. This course is just for the CFD simulations using ANSYS CFX and ANSYS Fluent. This course will be free on YouTube. I will do multiple videos and I will post them on YouTube in the same playlist. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and, so, and follow this playlist. This course will start from introduction and defining what is ANSYS still reaching some advanced problems as we will see in further videos. This video is just an introduction for this course. I want you to reach a professional user by the end of this course. The road to be a professional user is just if you are going to start from beginning what is ANSYS and also what is CFD. We will define how this works and what is the steps in solving any of the CFD problems. Using some enough knowledge of grid independence test turbulence models, VOF multiphase and the remeshing or moving mesh, we can just do some training in order to be a professional user in using ANSYS. But at the beginning, what is the ANSYS workbench? Actually, ANSYS stands for analysis systems. So actually ANSYS is a complete environment that analyzes multiple systems for geometry, modeling, and mesh manipulation. You can see here on the right hand side, this is an analysis system for a fluid flow using CFX. We start with the geometry, then the mesh, after that we use the setup of the CFX, the solution, and then at the end the results. We can connect multiple systems together, as you can see here right now, we can connect the meshing from one of the analysis system to the setup of another one. We can also connect different systems like one of from electrical with one of the mechanical, like an electric motor, we will use one of the analysis systems for the electrical machines in order to find out what is the heat flux or the heat loss from this electric motor and then we can connect it to one of the CFD simulations like CFX or Fluent. So actually it's very beneficial to use the ANSYS workbench in order to connect complex and more difficult systems. We can simulate each system and then share the results between these systems. We can create a parametric study for any variable. Actually in many of our researches we need to check what is the effect of changing any of the parameters in our problem. Like what is the effect of changing the length or any of the dimensions inside your geometry. Or changing the element size inside the meshing, which is the grid independence test. We also have some of in our setup like the effect of changing one of the velocity at the entrance or the temperature distribution at the entrance. We can check all of these parameters and see what is the effect of changing these on the results. So we can create a table of a parametric study which shows us the effect of changing any of the inputs on the results section. Also we can compare different results in CFD Boost. CFD Boost results is not just to display the results from one of your solution. You can connect the different solutions to one results in order to compare these solutions and check what is the difference between them. So what is the CFD problems? Actually CFD stands for computational fluid dynamics. This is a branch of fluid mechanics that uses some numerical analysis in order to solve the problem that involves fluid flows. These fluid flows can be either a liquid or gas of course. We solve all of the governing equation that governs our problem like the continuity, momentum and the energy equation and according to your problem you can have another equation like a species equation or whatever. So actually we solve this governing equation but actually in reality this, these equations are non-linear equations and they are partial differential equations. Solving them is really a nightmare. So we prefer to use this computational fluid dynamic technique which solves numerical linear algebraic equations. This is just done by 
discretizing the domain or doing a grid with a very small or fine meshing. This will reach us an accurate results although we have assumed that the relation is linear although the partial differential equation we haven't solved it accurately we just approximated it to linear algebraic equation so while refining this domain to a very small uh, elements actually it needs a very high performance computers in order to solve these problems so what can ANSYS do for us in our problems Actually, ANSYS can solve many problems like an external flow over a truck. We can simulate an internal flow inside pipes or elbows. We can simulate the phase change of ice to liquid or liquid to vapor. We can simulate a rotary machines like the wind turbines. For the external flow like the flow over a sports car or whatever, we can check the fuel consumption of this car. We can check the maximum pressure or the maximum drag over this car. And check what is the effect of changing any of the parameters in the geometry in order to reduce the fuel consumption. So it's very beneficial. Also, we can check the internal flow, flow inside the pipe. Flow at the elbow, it has some flow visualization. We can check how to maintain a smooth flow for this fluid flow. So actually, ANSYS is very beneficial in many problems, especially in something like the heat exchangers, which is one of the most well-known problems in the engineering industry. We can check the phase change inside the heat exchanger or just the temperature distribution. Also, we can check the rotary equipments like the pumps, compressors, or the wind turbines, as I mentioned before. You can see here, this is a video currently working, it's exported from ANSYS. Actually, ANSYS offers to you that you can solve the problem in a steady state or in a transient state. In a steady state, you will have a results at the end. What is the temperature distribution at the end? What is the velocity distribution at the end of the solution? But the transient simulation is beneficial in order to understand what happens with time. So as you can see here in this video, it's just cooling of a, of a mold. This part was very hot and when leaving it to cool down inside the ambient temperature, you can see that it cools down from red and then you can see that it cools down to a blue which is about 26 degrees Celsius. So you can export a video at the end of a transient simulation for any period you prefer and for any contours you want. Actually, as I mentioned from the beginning, we just want to define the geometry at the beginning. We can draw the problem and then or import a CAD file into our case. Then for the meshing, we can discretize the geometry into small parts in order to solve the governing equation as a linear algebraic equation. Then for the setup and the solver, actually we define the problem and the boundary conditions. Take care that the boundary conditions are a critical and a very important part in our problem. Take care that you define the boundary conditions correctly and in a proper way in order to avoid any mistakes in your results. At the end, you can see the results in various uh, dis uh, displays like in contour way or a charts or a vector. If we started with the geometry, actually you can draw the geometry inside the ANSYS itself using ANSYS Space Claim or Design Modular. While you can import the geometry using any of your preferred CAD software like SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD, you can draw your geometry and then import it inside ANSYS. Actually, you have all of the options in order to uh, use your geometry. After finishing the geometry, we can move on to the meshing. Actually, in order to discretize the domain, we can use ANSYS meshing module, which is the default module inside the ANSYS for the meshing part, or using ICEM CFD in order to mesh our geometry, or you can use any external meshing program and then import your meshing into this ANSYS workbench. After finishing the geometry and the mesh, we can move on to the setup and the solver. You can use either CFX or Fluent. Both of them is a perfect and a professional software in order to solve CFD problems. You can use any of them and you will have the same correct solution. 
the difference between them is just in the interface and some features in one over the other I will show you the difference between them in the next videos after finishing the geometry meshing and setup with the solution we can show the results either in CFD post or in fluent results I prefer the CFD post because it's very professional and it's specialized in in showing you the results in a very good way before thanking you for watching just don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell button also if you like the video don't forget to like uh, the video and at the end uh, i thank you for watching this video and also don't forget to follow up in this playlist i will post a video each week in order to show you how to start drawing from ansys space claim until reaching the results using ansys cfx or ansys flow thanks for watching